Wheatley for Fight News. I'm here with Graham Shaw, who's a trainer of former IBF and WBA middleweight champ, Daniel Gill. How are you, Graham? Very well, thanks, Ray. Uh, Graham, you're just back from uh, New York. Had the big fight for Daniel with uh, Golovigan. What are your thoughts on that fight? Oh, look, it was a tough fight. Daniel wanted to fight the best. I believe Golovkin is the best middleweight in the world, and uh, he certainly proved that over there. But you know, things didn't go our way from the start, and I'm not making any excuses, but he got a, a cut in the first round, but he got it in a four-minute round. That's you right, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know, if he'd have come back after three minutes, you know, he hasn't got the cut, which puts a different perspective on it. But, uh, look, I thought he could have carried on. The ref stopped it, but that's not up to me. You know, you know, but, uh, and I'm not saying I would have beat Golovkin other than those things, but they're just things that don't help in a fight. You know, I believe he is the best middleweight out there. Yeah, yeah. I noticed um, with Daniel uh, after he, fell he was over the straps, they, they let they let the cameraman sit on the apron, you know, put their stuff on the apron, and he got his foot caught in you know, the camera strap and all that, which is a bit amateur hour to me. Yeah, so. yeah, for a big fight like that. Yeah, that's right. Now, um, uh, Freddie Roach was on Fight News last week and mentioned that um, the promoters of Golovkin are staying clear of um, uh, Daniel Jacobs, also Peter Quillen. Do you feel that they're um, Dangerous opponents for uh, for Golovkin? Well, I think there's certain people who will give him a fight out there, but I just don't see him beating him. I don't I don't see uh, Jacobs or Quillen beating a, uh, the door down to get to Golovkin. You know, he'd love to fight them fighters, I'm sure. It's just, you know, they're avoiding him more than I think he's avoiding them. Yeah. You know, like I say, not because he's beat Daniel, but in the style he did beat him, I, I do believe he's the best middleweight in the world. Yeah. He's not the biggest earner out of all the middleweights. Um, Miguel Cotto? And uh, Peter Quillen. Well, I think Miguel Cotto is entitled to be an earner. You know, he's won you know multiple world titles and yep. he's a real big name and he's you know he's got a lot big fan base and I'm a Cotto fan. Yeah. So uh, he, he's entitled to earn the money, but I'm I'm sure it's not far away for Golovkin. Now, former uh, opponents of Golovkin that were victims of Golovkin, uh, Curtis Stevens, uh, Gabriel Rosado, uh, back on the winning list. Uh, Rosado just beat Brian Vera. Um, do you feel that uh, it won't be long before you'll have Daniel back in the ring rebuilding his career? Oh, without a doubt. Look, it's a loss, but it's not the end of the world, and plenty of fighters rebuilt their career. Like you yeah. say, Jacobs and that, he lost to Pirog, and, you know, he's got a world title, a world title, I don't know what world title is. Mm. But, uh, you know, he's back in the mix, and I'm sure Daniel will get there too. He's back in the gym, he's keener than ever. You know, the next day he was still talking about, you know, he wants to carry on, and, you know, it's not the end of the world. Lots of fighters get beat, you know, it's what they yeah. do after they get beat. Exactly the right. Uh, he's back training today, right? His yep. first day back. That's it, yeah. After a holiday in Hawaii. Yep, much deserved. Okay, Graham, thanks very much for your comments. No problem, and, Ray. And the best of luck for uh, the future with Daniel's fights, eh? Thanks very much. Always a pleasure, Ray. Good on you, Graham.